Hello, the Happy Satellite Nerd here. So today I'd like to talk about the Shaw Direct LTSS program. It was out in 2014. It has actually, first thing I'd like to say is it ended November 30th, 2014. So you can no longer call them up and have a LTSS account set up. But I just like to talk about the receiver they sent me. This very bare bones receiver with just component and um, channel 3, channel 4 output um, wasn't the greatest. I, did, I ended up finding a, uh, a high definition one at a thrift store for $7 and luckily that was one nice thing about the LTSS program. If you get if your receiver breaks or you get one of these, it feels like it's going to break in my hands. One of these cheap receivers you can, you can update even to a PVR. So you can do that. So the channels that are on it I made a little note of it to go through them. They are uh, the direct channel, which is like a Shaw cable, oh, not quite cable access, but like they show access programming and stuff. I don't know how to explain it. There's CBC Toronto. There's Global Toronto. City Toronto. CHCH TV out of Hamilton. Omni One. CTV2. Not CTV Ottawa. Or CTV2 Toronto, not CTV2 Ottawa. So I can't get Ottawa, even though I'm closer to Ottawa. MCTV, which is Mid Canada TV for Sudbury, Sioux St. Marie. There's CKPP, if I wrote that down right. Global Thunder Bay. And there's TV Ontario and APTN. And there's also the shopping channel of the. Uh, Western le uh, legislation, legislation, legislation channels. Spit that out. Um, so it's not a whole lot of channels, but it was a program that they had. Um, I guess uh, when sh when um, uh, Shaw Direct uh, was doing a merger, one of the agreements with the CRTC was to do this program for a limited time. So they came to my house. They installed a dish. And they gave me a receiver for free from just signing up to the program because I was not a cable or satellite subscriber at the time. Now they did call a few months later offering a pretty good deal, $20 a month for a year or two years, something like that, uh, for um, uh, your base, more of a basic service where, which like 100 channels and all that, not just the bare bones. Uh, handful of channels that I'm able to get with the one I had. I actually did try it for a one month because the salesman said I would be able to get TLC and I didn't get TLC so I enjoyed my free month with the full program but then I just said just take me back on the LTSS program. So I don't know if you're if you are a Shaw subscriber and you wanted to cut it you can say can you put me on the LTSS program? They probably will tell you that it's it. They'll give you the line it ended November 30th, 2014, and you can't do it anymore. Um, it was one of the government solution to the digital conversion when we were when they were switching from analog broadcasters to um, digital, and that's where we had some digital broadcasters shut down, or um, some broadcasters uh, just shut down their analog transmitters and not even go to digital. For example, my area, we used to get global TV. Um, broadcast but we don't get that anymore and we don't get the CBC in this area and many areas anymore yet we pay for the CBC um, taxpayer funded um, so that's just uh, what this it what this uh, program was it, I upgraded rated my receiver I paid seven bucks for an HD receiver with just um, the only bells and whistles is I can get two extra HD channels with it and that's about it but it works, and I was glad I upgraded it, and I'm glad that Bibles for Missions Thrift Store had a uh, receiver at a really great price. They only get let you have one receiver, which I asked about. Could I buy another receiver and have you know have just run the coax? Because there's four outputs on those uh, on the LMBs on the Shaw Direct dishes, and just run one to um, my upstairs TV and one to my downstairs TV. They will only let me have one, but a little trick I've discovered is you just go to the store, buy one of these, dollar store or order it from China. And it is a splitter, but a little trick you can do for a splitter if you receive your TV channels with an antenna, 
is just run your antenna in one and then out run the output of your receiver channel three or four into the other one and then and then combine that with your antenna and you can send it to your TV upstairs. You'll have to control your receiver from downstairs, but you can send your feed up. I use channel three. So channel three is whatever um, my Shaw box has. It usually has CHCH out of Hamilton. Shout out to CHCH, Bob and Annette, mornings on uh, on uh, the mor their morning show. Uh, that's, I usually have that on in the mornings and uh, it works great. So this is a little trick. Uh, when they only will let you have one receiver and other silent receivers I guess the same trick would work and then just get another splitter and split it to what, how many other TVs you want. I use an amplifier just so I can get the signal uh, to my HD home run and to my uh, and to my other TVs. Simple as that. So if you have any comments please comment on what would be a good solution for over the air. I think uh, in Canada for example we should have some channels on KU satellite, KU band satellite that are free because we're a very vast area and it would get programming out to areas that we can't get and a KU band system is really not that expensive. It's a few hundred dollars for a decent KU band system. That would be a great system. I think it would be even cheaper than running the bro several broadcast towers in different areas throughout the country. Just have it on satellite. They're already broadcasting on satellite. Just hit the switch and make it in the clear and then that's my solution, but who's going to listen to Robbie? No one listens to me. I have great ideas. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> you should listen to me. <laughs>